I failed Alex. I didn't give him the opportunity to be successful. He had the ability to do so much more. And he was so sheltered in the environment of, of the school environment, dealing with what advanced placement and those college courses and all that. I didn't give him the ability to, to fail. They were a family of three boys, highly skilled in technology and just amazing. Uh, the oldest son was a fabulous technology uh, kid, very uh, skilled in advanced placement, won the highest level at the University of Arkansas, the Governor's Distinguished Award, was awarded over $80,000. Alex flunked out, came just in this heavy uh, amount of debt. I didn't give him the opportunity to really reach out and show him exactly how he could have been productive when he left here immediately. Not, not within a time for it, but immediately. And so immediately after graduation, he was thrown out. He was basically put out into the college environment and hopefully you make it. And that's what's happening a lot of our kids. Our kids are not making it after they leave. Rick wanted to do something. He saw a lot of kids, you know, leaving high school, not going on to post-secondary education that didn't really have any marketable skills. The first thing I did when I became superintendent was to, I held a meeting at the Northwest Arkansas Economic Council. And I brought in all the business partners around the, in, in the Northwest Arkansas region that I felt like were uh, who I really wanted to partner with to identify the top jobs within Northwest Arkansas. Once that took place, business industry came running. So Prembo was conceived and born a year later. And I think you can, you know, kind of go to the school and see the see the outcomes there. So again, I think a really innovative uh, program. They've made themselves more um, aware that there's more than just the certain amount of things that go on in a high school. This was really a planning system for their future. So that's what it gives us as a region is kids that are ready to work on day one. Not only that, they come out again with more more of those soft skills that employers are looking for. Rick Neal, uh, he, he understood that he had a great program going 10-12. He didn't have enough students. So we talk with a lot of school districts that they aren't creating a pipeline out to their business and industry. He was actually having a pipeline concern internally. He needed to open and widen the pipeline K-8 students prepared to come into the 10-12 Primba program. And so after he set the vision, it was a natural fit for us to start brainstorming how we could build out a K-8 robust STEM hands-on program to feed the Primba program. Kids are coming through school systems and they really don't know where they're going. You give them a lot of choice and you give them a lot of experiences, but you really are not taking advantage of, of what they potentially could do in life. And uh, the vision of PrEP started in a conversation uh, with Pitsco. It started in a conversation on, on a day that I felt like that this is what really needs to take place, not just in a junior and senior level opportunity. It's an opportunity of starting at the kindergarten level and work our way through and really giving kids an opportunity to experience what those pathways are really going to look like. PrEP was designed to give them that mission and really give them that vision of how they can potentially go through that, that school system. One of the things that we have seen in education today is that the kids who are involved with education are increasingly having education done to them and not done along with them. So what we see is that most kids come to school, they show up, they spend about 20% of their day there, normally with their minds more or less turned off, at least by the fifth grade, sixth grade they're kind of checked out of it. They're tired of this because they know it doesn't look like anything in their world. In fact, the only thing in today's society that looks like school is school. There is no work environment that looks like this. And schools increasingly are seen by them, by the clientele, as a place where they're not being serviced, where their needs are not being met. And programs like you see at STEM East, for example, or here in Pea Ridge, these are programs that are aimed at helping these children actually find relevance and meaning and, and a reason to get up in the morning and want to go to school because they can see that this is going to help them.
require those life skills, those soft skills, if you will, those those things that, that they know they need somehow, but can't really figure out how they're actually going to learn them so that they can be successful when they graduate from high school. Because when a, when a parent is raising a child of, of, of five and six years old, they really don't know what they're going to be doing, and they're going through those building blocks of educational uh, pieces all the way. They're really going to be well informed, and they're going to understand what STEM really means, what workplace readiness means, what a career opportunity means, what college means. So they're getting all these pieces as they move along the way and not just hitting it at the junior and senior level when it's a little bit too late. And the kids are having the opportunity to build those soft skills. So they're going to have those collaborative meetings, which business industry wants right now. But they're doing that at the kindergarten, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth, all the way up, and not just at the high school level. Our teachers had no roadmap. Our, teach, our, our state has no roadmap. It's never been defined of what STEM education really is. This has an opportunity to really enhance the education of our students. It has an opportunity to meet the needs of our state. It has the opportunity to, to take those pieces of STEM education, create the vehicle for our school districts, and especially mine that I'm working in right now and really enhance their education and really put them on a roadmap to success. Not just putting them out there and hope that they do well.